Hello, this is Helen Schaefer, bringing out the artist in you. Today, Helen is going to draw the lady in the blue dress using Winsor Newton watercolor. I'm so anxious to get started with this. We're going to tell the story of Dina, our beloved daughter. By drawing her with her pets. You know the one who is sponsoring this art challenge called the Bluebird Art Challenge. That's right. And uh, it's so easy for us to do this for every all the artists because there's this prompt. And she says you can do any bird or you can do anything in blue. And so I decided that we would do Dina with all of her lovely little pets that she has. Wearing the blue dress, the one with the birds on. She likes to wear these dresses all the time. So we can get started with this. We first of all thanks Dina for doing this. And yeah, thank you for sponsoring uh, the Bluebird Art Challenge. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Your challenges always challenge us to do better. Right. And uh, that's great. In the painting, first of all, when you uh, start, you have to get your uh, reference picture, and then you start painting. You can paint in you can paint in any medium that you want. I decided on the watercolor, but you can do whatever you want. But uh, start with your sketch, begin with the darks, and then uh, you can apply the lights very, very lightly, because if you're like me, you'll need to make corrections and go lightly and um, so every- then corrections are a lot easier if you have a light coat instead of a heavy coat. Exactly, very that's good. right. That's right. So um, keep in mind that every stroke that you make is there. Whenever you make a stroke, it changes your picture, your painting. You know that. So be very cautious when you uh, try to capture the image that you want to, to capture. And you can always uh, darken layer by layer. How many times have you heard that? Many times. That's right. And I imagine that facial features are a lot harder to uh, draw and a lot easier to make mistakes on than uh, other features. Uh, yes, such you as flowers or oh, oh or yeah, a flower is a flower, but a face is a face, and you have to recognize it. And every time that you put in a stroke, whatever medium you're using, that stroke is very important. So you have to be very, very cautious and uh, to get the recognition. And I will say, uh, yes. when you started this drawing, yes. uh, I could tell right away it was Dina. It was, it was really something. You had captured her essence even with just the sketch, which is really good. Yeah, well, thank but you. That's, that's important because uh, that's what everything is based on. Well, it is. It, you, you brought up a good point. If you don't have the correct s sketch, from the very beginning. Now, I like to sketch uh, without using pencil. I'll just do it directly with, with uh, my medium. And uh, but it, it, you can do. You can put the sketch in. You can draw the whole thing out if you want. It's fine. But still, it will change when you put the paint on, or the color on when you draw. So it doesn't matter. I mean, you can do whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. Oh, you sound as though you're you're ready to do it. You want to say? <laughs> <laughs> my, my artistic skills just are not there. Yeah, I, I apply those in other ways. Yeah, that's such right. Such as in editing. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. See, that's the th problem with people. They're just afraid. They think they can't do it, you know. But yeah, you can do it if you want to. It just takes a lot of work. I don't want to mean by work. I mean time. Because you're, uh, when you really get involved in it, you don't, it, you don't call it work. It's, it's time that you put into it. it it's something effort. you enjoy. I mean, you know, you, you kind of gravitate to the, uh, to, to your art studio area there, and uh, you start painting, and pretty soon you've got something else up there, and, and you swap back and forth between different pieces of art, and it makes more of a challenge to to uh, eventually edit all that. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I've got lots of it for you to edit. And it, yeah, and then yeah, when you always have four or five projects going on at one time. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, talking about the reference picture that you're going to use. Don't just bring that reference out and think, oh, here it, here it is. You really have to use it. And by using it, every time that you put a stroke on, you really should 
lean back and look to see what you did. Actually, going back farther, I've got this chair underneath my table, and it actually is causing, um, it's, uh, it's on sliders on wheels, and it's actually ruining the, f the floor. Because you're going back and forth all the time? I am. Okay. I am. Okay. But you know what? Who cares? I mean, so the floor is... Yeah. You, you, but you, your point is you, you need to do a constant comparing to the reference yes. in order to get those facial features just exactly the way they should yes. be. Yes, and not only the facial features, but anything that you're drawing. Any, anything that you can be doing a landscape, you can be draw, drawing, whatever you're drawing. Be sure that you compare and look to see what you did. Otherwise, it'll just get worse. And if you didn't do it, do that stroke right, then whatever you put on after that, you just you're, it'll be distorted. Okay, good point. Okay, All right. thanks. And now it's time to say, go and check out the uh, hashtag. Uh, Bluebird Art Challenge playlist that Dina is putting together so that uh, you can take a look and see what others have provided on the Bluebird Art Challenge. And once again, Dina, thank you so much for sponsoring the Bluebird Art Challenge. And uh, we will uh, sign off with that. Okay. Bye. Bye. And we called it the Lady in Blue.